Hi, this is Michelle Courtois, and today I'm going to teach you how to recolor an artwork using the Colorways module. I am going to select the artwork that I want to recolor. Make sure you use the selection arrow up here on the left. It's the blue arrow. You want a blue bounding box around your artwork. Then I'm going to go up to the Colorways Studio. As you can see, looks like a bunch of flowers or fried eggs. You're going to select that. When you select that, this window appears. So the first icon is the seasonal palette. If we select seasonal palette, you get a default that shows up. Let's load your palette. I'm going to load mine. I'm going to go to load palette. I have mine saved to my desktop. I'm going to open that. Yes, I want to replace the colors that are there. Okay, so here are my colors that I'm going to use. The next icon here is for creating another colorway. So by selecting that, it's going to duplicate what you already have. This is for deleting a colorway. This is for shuffling a colorway. So here I'll add a colorway and then I'll shuffle and you'll see how it takes the colors that are in my palette and tosses them randomly to create a new coloration. If I select Add Shuffle, it's going to add colorways on its own and shuffle them. The next is Colorways Management. So if you select that box, let's say you create 40 different colorways and you go through them and you don't like them, you can delete them more quickly instead of individually. So I could just uh, select them by holding down Shift or individually by holding down Control and then I can delete them. So here I want to keep my original. Okay, so recoloring is very simple. I'm going to create a cool colorway, a warm colorway, a neutral colorway, and a multi. So here I'm going to move my colors over to the right and simply I'm going to drag the colors that I want onto my artwork. And then maybe I'll get rid of the black here by doing that. Okay, so I'm going to go back to my original colorway. I'm going to duplicate that. I'm going to follow the color positions here and I'm going to create a warm colorway. So when you're creating colorways, it's good to explore different color options. Let's try creating a neutral. And I'll put this in here. Maybe we'll add a touch of blue for fun. Okay, now I have our, my original and if I want to, I can label that at the top. And when you give a colorway a name, make sure you hit enter after. So this is my cool, this is my warm, this is my neutral. If I wanted to create another version of maybe say the pink, I would just select the pink and I can select new colorway. It will duplicate. Let me make these larger. move some of this over so you can see. You can fiddle around with the uh, layout of this if needed. So I can create a duplicate version of pink and then if I want to I can create another colorway or I can use my Pantone book and look for colors in here that I might want to use. Maybe I want to use a different pink and I can just drag that down. Or I can always use my color chooser and mix 
a color. Your colorways will automatically save. Not like with Weave or with Knit where you have to say OK to select your colorways and save them at the end. And that's it.